Hi all, welcome back. In the previous video, we have been looking at how to handle the data frames in PySpark. I gave an introduction on the different ways in which a data frame can be created, right? We also saw uh, the different methods which are useful for accessing the data in the data frame and doing certain transformations to it, right? So in this video, let us try to understand how to apply functions, that is uh, the user defined functions to the PySpark data frame. Okay. Hope you will be aware like for every Spark application, the starting point would be the Spark session, right? So as usual, I have created a Spark session with the following uh, code. For this demo purpose, I have created a car sales uh, CSV file, which contains the details like the manufacturer sales in thousand, year resale value, the vehicle type, price in thousands, and then the engine size. Okay. Let us try to import this CSV file into the PySpark and then we will create a data frame. Okay. In order to create a data frame uh, using the CSV file, we have already seen in the previous video, but now let me uh, create it directly without much explanations. If you are new to this, definitely have a look at the previous videos in order to understand this better. Updated.csv. So this is the file name. This CSV file is placed in the same path as that of this Python file. So I'm directly giving this file name without any uh, uh, location or any other path. Okay. And then I'm giving infer schema equal to true so that it will automatically infer the schema of the data and header equal to true. Yeah, the first row is to be considered as a header. Okay. There are no errors and the data frame is created successfully. So let us try to visualize the data. If you see here, the manufacturer sales in thousand year sales, vehicle type, price in thousand, everything is listed properly. And one thing to note is the manufacturer, it contains two different uh, names like Acura underscore Integra. So the model name and the make are concatenated using the underscore. In the real time data sets, you will come across the scenarios like this. So you wanted to split the manufacturer Acura and Integra into two separate columns, right? So let us create one function in order to split this manufacturer into two different columns. So our requirement is to split the manufacturers into two different values based upon this underscore, right? So I'm going to use the function split in the SQL dot functions. So let us import that. Functions as F, okay. Split manufacturer is my function name and I'm giving a string value to it. Okay. This can be any string which I'll be passing. And what should I return? It should return the splitted value. Okay. So I'm splitting the string based on underscore. Okay. So this function will split my string into two based upon the underscore and it will give me uh, two different values. Okay. So let us now create a new column with the help of df dot with column. So this we have come across in the previous video and the column name is the make. I'm giving the function name followed by df dot manufacturer. So this column I wanted to separate into two different, right? So this function, it actually takes single input and splits into two so that you'll get two different elements, right? So I wanted the zeroth index for make. Okay. And the same way, I'm creating another column called model where I'm placing the first index. So manufacturer is split into make and model. Let us visualize the data. So you should have two new columns for make and model. So here you can see uh, the manufacturer is split into two different columns, make and the model. Okay. So this manufacturer is containing a duplicate value. So I do not want this manufacturer. So let me remove this with the help of drop method. DF is equal to DF dot drop and can give in a list of items. If there are multiple, then you can give it the comma separated. Okay. So now I want only one column to be dropped. So I'll give it like this. Okay. 
So the column is dropped and you have make model separated with engine size, price in thousand, vehicle uh, type, year resales value and sales in thousand. Okay. In the next video, we will try to understand about uh, how grouping and uh, aggregation is done in PySpark. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.